Have you struggled with how to wash towels? How to wash towels by hand? How to wash your towels with bleach? Welcome to this channel, homemade made simple for body women. My name is Florence at florencefaka.com. Let's dive right in. So I'm adding lukewarm water to my coat. I use this coat to wash sometimes or I use my basement sink to do my hand washing clothes or hand washing anything. And so I'm filling this out now with a lukewarm water. Sometimes I use Tide to wash clothes. Sometimes I use all Stain Lifter Oxy. And that's what I'm going to use today to wash these towels. And so I'm going to pour this here. I'm gonna use one cup because I have quite a few towels to wash. And I'm gonna put this in here. And to make your towels look fluffy and smells good, I use Clorox bleach, just one fourth cup of bleach. A little like that, and we're gonna add that into this. The water before I add the towels. And now I can soak the towels in here. Just soak them. And we're just gonna pull this up here like that and then let all this soak in we're gonna leave this for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and wash this by adding the little bit of bleach to this it's gonna make your towel wash nicely the colors everything will come out nicely and it will be so fluffy and smell so good so we're gonna soak this and leave it for 30 minutes and then we'll just come and start washing these clothes all right so it's been 30 minutes and we are going to start washing these towels washing a towel can be a little tough by hand so just take your time and then what i do is i go around the edges because those are the ones that stains a lot that you can see so i just wash them little by little all around Just go along it. When you are doing your hand washing your towels, make sure whatever you are wearing is raised up because you could be having water all over your arm. And just wash. Do the soap to this. I love to add bar soap to my liquid soap because it gives a different kind of smell to it. As you can see, I just wash go around it. You have to take your time because it's heavy and thick. Just go around. So this one is done, we are just going to squeeze the water out of this one. And we are just going to start on the next one. So this is done too. I'm gonna take this out. Then we start on the next one. So in Ghana, we don't have a washer or a dryer machine. We've never owned one. They do have it, but we've never used it because we can't afford it. So we wash our clothes, our bed sheets, our towels, our shirts, our jeans, everything by hand. And we wash every weekend. Weekend is a washing day for almost everyone because we work throughout the week. And Saturday and Sunday is your weekend. So that's when we do our washing on Saturday. So we wash once a week. And our clothing, 
our towels, our bed sheets, everything is washed during the weekend, every Saturday. So I'm used to washing clothes by hand, anything by hand, because that's what I'm used to, that's what we use. We've never owned a washer or a dryer, so you have to do everything by hand. And so I know how to wash everything, how to do them, and save time, save on your electric gas, save on your water bill. And so I know how to do all these. This is nothing for me. And so just be careful when you are squeezing the water out. Watch your wrist. Don't do it too hard. You put too a strain on your wrist. So just be careful. And then you see how discolored our water is. That means our towel was dirty. So we do the little ones out. Do this as well. Have to give it a good wash. Just gonna be all done. We are just gonna throw this water away and get a new one and wash one more time before we rinse. So we just fill in another wash. This is our second wash. You always want to wash your clothes at three times. One time when you really wash it really good get every angle all the color everything you need and then the second one is where you give it a rough wash the third one is where you just rinse your clothes or your towels can see I'm just gonna do this see the water is not too milky all right so this is our second wash I'm gonna give you another rough wash you don't want to add any more soap to this because we still have soap in the towels the first wash so we're gonna give a rough wash and then we are just going to take this out of here and start on this one too as you can see try to get all the soapy water out of it at the same time giving it a rough wash to get the remaining things, anything else you might have in here, all out. I'm gonna take this out as well. Okay. This is also done. We're just gonna take this out. So we are on our last one we are going to take this out we are going to dump this water and we are going to rinse this rinse our bowl and we are going to add new water and add a towel so it's time to rinse our towel. It's all done. Ready to go. You can see how clear our water is now. And just rinse. I do is just dump this in and wait for that like that.
and make sure you squeeze the water out also be gentle and be careful with your wrist don't put too much force on it I do this all the time so I know all the little tricks that you can use when you are hand washing clothes or hand washing towels or washing your towels by hand. And we are done. To, we just have to dry our towels, it's done. Alright, so now we just finished hand washing our towels, so we are going to dry them. You can dry this outside or you can dry this and put it in your dryer. Once I hand wash anything, I always dry them air dry. I don't take put them in the dryer, I hang them either outside or inside. It's snowing this time, so I cannot dry anything outside, so I'm just going to dry them here and I'm just going to shake this so that it will straighten out before we have before we dry it so just like that and then you just hold it with your clothespin use a clothespin to dry it just like that very tiny and let it do the second one then you just stretch it stretch it all out bring this up a little bit and stretch it out yeah like that last one here and that's it that's all you do we just dry our towels inside here and give it a day and it's all dried up nicely and it smells so smells so good because we add a little bit one fourth cup of bleach to it to give it a good smell and also make it laugh it smells good and it's very soft as well Mm, so nice so that's how you hand wash your towels and i hope this video helps you to be able to hand wash your towels and i have another video of how to hand wash your shirt by hand how to wash your clothes by hand and i hope this video will be another one that will give, give you some idea of how to hand wash your, uh, your towels or how to wash your towels and make them smell good and fluffy without using a washing machine so uh, if you like this video subscribe to this channel like comment and share and like i said in ghana we don't have money to buy a washing machine or a dryer so we do our washing everything by hand our towels by hand our clothes by hand our bed sheet by hand everything we wash everything we wear is by hand you only have like 10 percent of Ghana that use the washing these people are even foreigners who are working now that came from different country uh, but for Ghanaians ourselves we don't use washing machine because everything we really use our hands so that's what i know and that's what i want to show you that it's possible go to wash clothes by hand if in case your washing machine is not working your dryer is not working it's good to know that you can wash your clothes by hand, towels anything by hand and it's simple and also it saves you it's very benefit for you to know how to wash clothes or anything towels bash anything by hand so in case your washer is not working you know how to wash your clothes by hand in case your dryer is not wet you know how to dry you can get a, a dryer line or your drying rack that to dry on and it's so easy to do and so so that's what I'm used to to wash everything by hand and even when I move here I still wash my clothes by hand I'm used to it and so that's what I want to share with you I hope this video helps you subscribe to this channel and also if you have any questions leave in the comment section below we'll get back to you as always thank you for watching my videos I'll see you on my next one take care bye